A compression member can be subjected to bending moment at the same time. The design of the member subjected to bending and axial force can be referred from clause 6.2.9 in Eurocode 3. There are two types of bending and axial force. The first condition is when the mono axial bending and the axial force happens together. The mono axial bending is referring to bending about a single principal axis. The second condition is the biaxial bending. It means that the bending in both YY and ZZ axis. It can happen with or without the axial force. The respective references are given here. In principle, in the existence of axial force, the bending strength of the member can be affected. The bending resistance is not affected when the axial force is relatively low. The definitions of low means less than 25% of the axial capacity of the entire sections or less than 50% of the axial capacity of X web. This slide shows the design for the mono axial bending plus axial force. The bending can occur in the YY axis or in ZZ axis. When the axial load is relatively low as defined here for the YY axis and the ZZ axis, no reductions will be applied on the moment resistance of the member. For the YY axis, the axial load should be less than 25% of its entire compression resistance or 50% of the axial force of the web. As for the ZZ conditions, the compressive stress of the web can be considered. If these conditions comply, therefore we, there will be no reduction in terms of moment resistance. However, if it is not complied, then reduction should be applied on different types of the member. This part represents the member of I and H sections, as for this part represents the members for the hollow sections. Ultimately, the reduced moment should be greater than the loading. Ultimately, the reduced moment resistance should be greater than the moment load acting on the member. The moment resistance for the YY axis and the ZZ axis differ. They are defined in the function of N and A, which the N is the load ratio and A is the web area ratio. This represents the reduction factors in the function of the N and A. As for the MPLYRD and MPLZRD, they are the full bending moment capacity of the member without any reductions. The load factor is computed by quantifying the ratio of the load out of the axial capacity of the member. As for the web area ratio, it's a quantification of the percentage of the web area over the total area of the member. And the A ratio should be not greater than 0.5. To acquire the moment resistance of the member, you can multiply the actual capacity of the moment with the reduction factor as computed in the function of N and A. It is noted that for the ZZ axis bending, 
when the n is less than a, there will be no reductions in terms of the moment resistance. However, when the n is more than a, a reduction is applied. This represents the reduced moment equations for the hollow sections, such as square hollow sections or rectangular hollow sections. Basically, the y axis and the z axis of the moment reduced is similar. The structures are the same and except that the A, W and A, F which is defined here. It is graphically presented here. The A, W and the A, F for the hollow sections and the box are given here. Since that the principle stated that in the existence of the bending and the axial force, the moment resistance could reduce. Therefore, the reduced moment should not be greater than the actual moment capacity. Same goes to the hollow sections. Again, bear in mind that these equations are meant for the mono axial bending only. That means the bending of the member is on one direction. When they are by axial bending, that means the bending in two directions, these equations may be applied. MYED and MZED represent the moment load in the Y and Z axis. NNYRD and NNZRD is refers to the reduced moment capacity, which is obtained from this slide. The alpha and beta differs among different types of the member. This is for the I and H sections, this is for the circular hollow sections, and this is for rectangular sections. For the rectangular hollow sections, the alpha and beta it will be the same. And the N here is the loop ratio. As for the circular hollow sections, the reduced moment is given by these equations in the function of the load ratio power 1.7. This equation is applicable for the member subjected to by axial bending with and without axial force. Alternatively, you may use these equations which is more conservative. The relevant clause is referring to 6.2.1, number 7. Both is applicable for the conditions.